One Butch Bowers, a South Carolina lawyer, will represent Trump in the second fake impeachment of the our real president. And Seattle Judge Barbara Rothstein says that Amazon gets to discriminate against Parler and Gab allows all legal free speech except any form of pornography based. This is the end of Hour 2. It's Friday, January 22nd, 2021. Stay tuned for Hour 3 with Jesse Lee after JLP. Catch The Hake Report. TheHakeReport.com slash show. An update on the second fake impeachment of real President Trump, Donald J. Trump. South Carolina lawyer Butch Bowers is going to be the lead attorney, reportedly, in Trump's impeachment trial. The Epic Times reports Butch is well-respected. This is a quote from J- Jason Miller, an advisor to pre- the president. Butch is well-respected by both Republicans and Democrats and will do an excellent job defending President Trump. And Senator Lindsey Graham, the rhino from South Carolina, said that Trump is still putting together a legal team, but that Bowers would act as an anchor. And he called Bauer, he called Butch Bauer a solid guy. Butch Bowers is also known as Carl, with a K, Carl Smith Bowers, Jr., and he represented South he represented South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford, who snuck away to Argentina to see a woman years back, and South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, the rhino, who was cleared of ethics charges, both former governors. The House voted on January 13th, as you may recall, to so-called impeach President Trump. It was very forgettable, honestly. For the second time during his tenure, the article accuses him of inciting insurrection, which is ridiculous. They blame him for the January 6th breach of the U.S. Capitol. This is despite President Trump urging his supporters to act peacefully ahead of its protests and always pushing love and respect for police and property. Phony House Speaker Nervous Nancy Pelosi, the Democrat from California, has not sent the article of impeachment over to the Senate, probably Monday, according to Fox News. Rhino Senate Major- Senate Minority Leader now, Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, proposed that the impeachment pre-trial begin in February. Wow, dragging it out. There is a threat of conviction, too, as well as barring President Trump from holding public office. Not that it matters. The establishment are only invalidating themselves further, right? If that's even possible, but they are completely invalidated. Alternative social media updates. Seattle judge Barbara Rothstein rules that Amazon can deny Parler web hosting. This is from Revolver and the New York Post. Parler had sued Amazon Web Services last week after the tech titan forced it to go dark. AWS, as Amazon Web Services is called, blamed the social network's failure to police supposed threats of violence. We have seen no evidence of that on the platform ahead of the month's, this month's Capitol riot. In its suit, Parler accused Amazon of trying to protect Twitter, which is a major um, co- uh, customer of Amazon, from competition. Judge Rothstein said Thursday, quote, Parler has failed to do more than ri- raise the specter of preferential treatment of Twitter by AWS, Meanwhile, they just cry racism willy-nilly, these sleazy judges. Importantly, with no evidence, right? Importantly, Parler has submitted no evidence that AWS and Twitter acted together intentionally or even at all in restraint of trade. Gab has zero tolerance for pornography of any kind on their platform, according to the Gab founder, Andrew Torba. Nice, huh? Revolver News reports that, well, they linked to Breitbart article, which reported January 9th that Gab's traffic did go up 750%, more than that, in a 24-hour period after Trump and so many others were banned from Twitter and many other platforms like Facebook. Gab allows all legal content except pornography to avoid censorship by cloud hosting companies, as Parler is experiencing. Gab maintains its own physical servers. They have tens of thousands, they say, of volunteer users who monitor the site for threats and illegal activity, and they work with law enforcement a lot. They've also developed the Gab phone, and basically an Android minus anything Google. Good for you guys. And Gab also developed Dissenter, a web browser that adding a comment section to every site on the internet. Awesome. I'm James Hake. Now on to Jesse. Real Hour 3 this time.